All right, hey guys, so this is, uh, I'm gonna do an example uh, of the, one of the questions in your booklet um, to show you guys how all these works because uh, on page four, there's some homework over here. So the, some of the questions can be a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna tell you some tricks on how do I approach uh, uh, this kind of question and how you could approach them and then uh, figure out how it works, okay? All right, so if you haven't seen the, the other video yet, so go see the other video because that is the, that video is about the teaching part and, and the concept. And this video is just purely I'm running one question for you guys. If you, when you're doing your homework, if you got some question that you're not too sure of, you would like me to explain. So just send me an email and then tell me which uh, question it is. It's best if you can take a picture of it. And then uh, if it's a simple question, I can just answer you on your email, then I'll, I just reply to your email. But if the question can be a, a bit tricky, so maybe I'll make some videos like this one so that I can show you how it works, okay? All right, so in particular, we're gonna be looking at the homework on page four. Page four, conservation mechanical energy and question six, okay? Sorry, it's a bit of a light here, question six. Um, okay, so if you haven't done this question yet, pause this video and then have a look at that question first and and spend some time have a look at try it first before I start teaching you, okay? Because then, then once you have a think through it and then if you get stuck and then you look at this video, then it's much more effective for you, okay? All right, sweet. So, uh, okay, so now we're going to have a look at this uh, question together. So a girl throws a ball upwards to her friend who is standing on a platform above her. So this is a typical kind of question, like we got a situation going on. So how I approach the question is I always draw a picture because if I draw a picture, then I see what's happening because there's lots of information. I can get very confused. So, but if I draw a picture, then it will be easy to understand. Okay, so what it means is, well, there is a girl that's standing at the bottom over here that has ball in her hand, right? And he's gonna throw up the, throw the ball upwards, and then there's a girl standing on a platform above her. Say so there's a platform over here, and there's another person uh, standing over here, say, trying to catch the ball with her hand. Okay, so let's do it this way. Okay, so then she is standing over here. Okay, so then you say the ball had the mass, so I know the mass equal to 0 0.21 kg and it has a speed of this, and it leaves her hand. So the ball has the speed going upward, speed is gonna be 6.1 meter per second. Okay, and then it rises 1.7 meter in air, it rises 1.7 meter, and then before it's caught, so I caught it over here. So I'm gonna write here, the height over here, when it's caught, that is the height. The height is going to be 1.7 meter high. Okay, so now we got one, two, three, three information. Okay, so let's have a look how the, what the question is asking you. Okay, so question A. It says calculate the kinetic energy of the ball as it leaves the girl's hand. When it's leaving over here, kinetic energy. Okay, kinetic energy, that's pretty easy. Kinetic e energy equals half mv squared. Put the numbers down, half times mass, 0 0.21, and times 6.1 bracket squared, okay? And then I put it in the calculator. Okay, so half is 0 0.5 times 0 0.21 times 6.1 times another 6.1, okay. So that gave me 3.92, okay? So that's how much kinetic energy it had when it's over here, okay? All right, then next question, question B. It says calculate the gravitational potential energy gains as it rise up to the frame, okay? So over here is gaining gravitational potential energy because it's getting higher, so it's gaining energy. All right, so the gaining of gravitational potential energy, the equation is mg, Delta H, right? Okay, sweet. So let's see, we know the numbers. Okay, mass 0 0.21, height, gravity constant number 10, height is gonna be 1.7. Okay, so we've got all the numbers. So it should just be a cheap question because this is only one equation that we need to solve. Okay, 
3.57 Joule. Okay, so that's how much gravitational kinetic energy can. And then say number C, how much kinetic energy does the ball lose as it rises? Okay, as the ball thing is rising, the kinetic energy is going to be losing, right? So where does the kinetic energy lost to? That has lost to the gravitational potential energy. So question C, so EK loss will equal to the EP gained. So how much did EP gain? So it's actually just 3.57 Joule. Okay, so that's going from here to here. Okay, so that's how much it gained. Okay, and then how much can does the ball have left at the instant it's caught? So when it's caught over here, they ask you what is the EK over here? So traditionally, all of our EK is converting to EP, okay? So if I throw this, when it's reaching the top, so when it's rising, kinetic energy losing, 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 and then bam, it stops. Zero kinetic energy. All of the kinetic energy has turned into gravitational potential energy. But this question is different. It didn't tell us all of it is lost. In fact, when it reaches over here, there will still be some kinetic energy left, okay? All right, so let's say, where does this leftover kinetic energy come from? Okay, question D. So EK, the leftover, or the left, so originally it comes from the kinetic energy over here. That's a EK, total kinetic energy, right? And some is gonna turn into EP, some take away from EP. And then the leftover, delta EP, the leftover is gonna be the leftover kinetic energy on the top, okay? All right, so now we get, well, total EK, 3.9 minus 3.57, and that will give me 0 0.33 Joule. This is how much kinetic energy we'll have when the ball is reaching over here. Okay, we're still having a kinetic energy EK. Okay, left. Okay, so now, last question, what was the speed when it's been caught? Okay, if I know the kinetic energy here, I can turn it back to speed, okay? All right, so question E. So EK left equals to half MV, well, V left or V caught. That's when it's caught, the speed is when it's caught, okay? So now, 0 0.33 equals to a half times the mass, 0 0.21 V, or oh, squared, forgot, C-A-U, I just say V-C, okay, make it easier. V-C squared, okay, then you can rearrange the equation, that times that side becomes 0 0.66 equal to 0 0.21 V-C squared, so Vc squared equals to 0 0.66 divided by 0 0.21, then the calculator, 0 0.66 divided by 0 0.21 equals 3.14. So the Vc is going to equal to square root 3.14, that equals... One point seven seven meter per second. Okay, so as you can see, when it's coming to here, it's still having a speed one point seven seven meter per second, and then your hand is gonna catch it and then stop the ball from keep going upwards. Okay, all right. So that is question the last question, question six. So this should be the most difficult question in this situation. After you think this question, it should help you to answer the other question as well. So basically, you're gonna draw the diagram and have a look what is actually happening, and then analyze it and then try to solve the problem. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully, it helps you a lot. So the next lesson, and we're gonna talk about. Uh, energy transformation and we're going to talk about work and then we're going to talk about uh, power at the end okay so all right have a good day see you guys in the next video